animals are usually either predator or prey, but sometimes even predators can find themselves prey of another species. I'm an entomologist at the University of Illinois and Smithsonian Natural History Museum, and I'm going to tell you about what happens when two fierce insect predators meet face to face. Antlions are ambush predators commonly found throughout Florida. They dig pits in sand and bury themselves at the bottom. The walls of these pits are unstable. The antlion flings sand at the prey, making them tumble to the bottom of the pit where the antlion pulls its victim under the sand to eat it alive. The ants that I study, trap giant ants, are lone huntresses. They subdue their prey by using their powerful sting and their ultra-fast snapping jaws. Their mandible snaps are among the fastest animal movements ever documented. What I wanted to know was whether this powerful adaptation for prey capture could also be used during encounters with antlion predators to help the ants survive. First, I collected antlions and let them dig pits in experimental arenas. Then I introduced trap jaw ant workers into these pits and recorded the outcome. I found that half of the time the ants escaped by running out of the pit. But running didn't always work, and sometimes they end up trapped at the bottom on the edge of being eaten. In this situation, their mandible snaps provide an impressive means of escape. They snap their mandibles against the walls of the pit, and all the force of the strike is reflected back at them, propelling them up and safely out of the pit. Mandible power jumps help them escape 15% of the time. After observing this, I wondered if taking away their mandible powered escape mechanism really would diminish their odds of surviving. Could they compensate by escaping in other ways? So I did a second experiment where I glued the mandibles shut and compared their survival to other non-glued control ants. I found that mandible snaps doubled their odds of escaping. This is a striking example of how something that's evolved for one purpose, prey capture, can become essential in a completely different context. I hope my work has shown you something new and exciting about the natural world and the insects that are a part of it.